for the past several months, we've been working non-stop on building our off-grid homestead here in the middle of the forest. From trenching water and power lines to the site of our future house, to making sure that our geodesic dome is warm and comfortable enough for us to live in while we build our dream home, it has been a lot. With summer quickly coming to a close, deciding to take the last few weeks to slow things down and be a little bit more present was exactly what we needed. Come along. Good morning. Good morning, buddy. <laughs> Did you hear me turn on the camera? I'm such a suck. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Good. Did you? Are you picking them up today? Yeah. I've missed our friends. Yeah. I figured we could bring them along. Start you haven't with... missed much. Yeah, it's been pretty chill. Yeah, we've been just like organizing and... Getting yeah. our life in order, it feels. Yeah. But it was good. Do you want to get started on breakfast? You want to get started on breakfast? Mm -hmm. Oh, you ready for breakfast? Oh, I see Charlie popping up over there too. <laughs> All right, let's go get some breakfast. You're never gonna get enough for breakfast if you keep eating them all as you're picking. <laughs> <laughs> Do the buddies want a tomato? Good boy. It's pretty exciting that this time of year, almost all of our meals are coming from the garden. So we've got- Really exciting. Yeah, like these look like shrubs that Tyler's dealing with right now, but they're actually our spicy peppers. Can you, like jalapenos in Canada? Wow. And Unreal. there's some big ones in there. And then these are the cayenne peppers and they're starting to get ripe. Look at that. And then we've got our sweet bells. And then we've got our small tomatoes and our big tomatoes. Look at this softball over here. Whoa. You wanna take him? Sure. And then a jalapeno? Yeah, jalapeno, and I'm gonna grab some tomato. Okay. Why don't you go get the herbs? Okay. And then we'll, we'll meet in the gazebo in. and make some breakfast. Todd ran off with the basket when he went to pick the herbs, so I am rocking the kangaroo pouch. Hey, it works. Must have beat him back, he's not here. Are you inside, hon? <laughs> what took me so long? Yeah, trying to. Squirrel gets the onion again. Look, she caught. <laughs> Are you out on the countertop? All right, I'll get started on chopping and cooking. I always forget that we can cook inside now, even though we've had electric for a little while. I know, it's just so new. <laughs> Crazy how much better it tastes from the garden. Oh yeah. I find green pepper is the one I notice the best like taste difference. I find basil. Do you know what I find? Mm -hmm. You can really razzle dazzle with a little bit of basil. <laughs> so stupid. Well, it's definitely a good thing it's not a competition here because that's two, <laughs> two things. Two for two. <laughs> How's breakfast coming? It's coming. What are you making? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of the vegetables and I'm gonna grill them. And then I'm gonna put the grilled veggies on English muffins and then cook them sort of like panini. I think it's oh, gonna be really good. That's gonna be really tasty. Can I try? Sure. It's really good. I snuck a little sneaky bite. Mmm. Crunchy, it's eh? so much better from the garden. So much better. Okay, I'm gonna start grilling this. Do okay. you wanna light the hot tub and sauna? I figured it'd be a nice little relaxing morning. Sure. And just like that, the hot tub is lit. We're really impressed with how this cover is working. So it's helping us to extend the life of the water because if we didn't have it, all these needles would be in the water, making it dirty quicker. But also because we use it every single day, it's really quick to heat up. So we were in it last night, so the temperature didn't drop very much because of the 
the cover. So it's probably only going to be about 10 to 15 minutes before it's warm enough for us to get back in today, which is kind of nice. It's a nice way to start the day, like taking all the aches and pains out of our muscles from all these physical tasks. But hot tub is lit, I'd say maybe 10 minutes. Nice. Get a load of these. Oh, whoa. So I did decide to add some eggy and breakfast sausage just to like beef it up a little bit. Charlie wants a look. <laughs> oh, do you want do you want a little bite? You can have some green pepper, buddy. Oh, I do love green pepper. Okay. Want some of that? Good, buddy. Daddy coming in for some? Okay. <laughs> oh, what can we give her? <laughs> um, I don't know what cats can have. Here, take our friends. I'll grab her treat jar. Oh, uh, this is this is a thing that she's learning now. If Todd shakes the treat jar, <laughs> it's a mad dash to get up here. <laughs> there we go, sweetie. Hey. All right. Do you want to eat outside? Sure. Since we can't cook in the gazebo, doesn't mean we can't eat in it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I knew I kept you around for a reason. What can I say? <laughs> God, the basil is really good. That's a spicy basil plant. Like it has like a lot of kick. You can really razzle dazzle with a little bit of basil. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm ready to go float. <laughs> a really important lesson we learned after we installed the hot tub was the importance of scrubbing yourself down before you get in. Because it's wood fired and uses no electricity whatsoever, we don't have like the typical pumps and the filters like you'd normally see. Thankfully, we've got this beautiful outdoor shower that we built. And just in relation, so the shower's right here. This trail here leads to the dome and the sauna and everything over there. And then this trail leads to our walking and snowshoeing trails that go hundreds of acres all the way back there through the forest. And then this trail right here leads to the future house site. So I'm really, really happy with the setup we built here. It's just, it's just so beautiful. So I'm gonna jump in and Rinse off. Room for one more. <laughs> oh, this feels so good. Oh, nice, eh? Yeah. Mornings can be so rough. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying it? Very much. <laughs> It's perfect with the trees here because it provides like shade so you're not over hot from like the sun hitting you, you know? Yeah, we're completely shaded here. Yeah. Even though it's out. Mr. Sun's right there. Hello. <laughs> we'll see him after. Yeah. Right now we're just gonna enjoy this. So we've been doing our best to enjoy the hot tub and we were like, God, Charlie and Eddie are being really annoying. Mm -hmm. And then we realized normally we go for a walk first and then we get in the hot tub. They are not happy about this, are you, little buddy? Have you been to the river yet today? No, you haven't. Here we go. Have you been to the river, Charlie? You want to go for a walk? Go for our walk? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you heard him. Yeah, we're going to get dried off and head to the river. That looks like an animal. Hey, boys, come here, come here. What is it? It's not moving very much. I'm gonna take them back and get something to help. Kay. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Hello, if you have an injured or orphaned wild animal, please press one. We came across a baby porcupine that's injured, like it's not moving. Not really sure what we should do. Sure, we can take it. Okay. You think you might be able to get it out to us? That would be amazing if you could. Yeah, yeah. we can do that. Awesome, Thank We'll see you. you soon, bye. Okay, bye. Okay. There you go. There you go, little guy. There you go. Wow. That wasn't too hard, buddy. Yeah. Okay, let's get him over to the shelter. Okay. So we loaded up Spike into the vehicle. Todd got this container and poked holes in it. it was he working. seems to like it. Yeah, he seems to be doing okay. Um, we're bringing him to Hope for Wildlife, which is like an animal sanctuary rehabilitation center sort of thing where they take in wild animals that get injured and then hopefully reintroduce them back into the wild. Yeah. yeah, so we'll put some information if you're in the Nova Scotia area, we'll put it down in the description box in case you ever find a wild animal. Um, it's a really cool place yeah. to take them and 
Worst case scenario, I said to Tyler, if they can't rehabilitate Spike to go back into the wild, not happening. We can create a little area on the land where he can like be closed off, and we'll make it like some trees. He's and... he's not joking. Just just so you know. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a bit further of a drive than we thought. We've got about an hour drive, so I think we're just gonna. Enjoy the view, Spike's pretty comfortable. Any song request, Spike? What do you think? <laughs> Top pop? Doesn't matter when I'm riding shotgun. Way I feel with you, I feel with no one. Two more tattoos than last year. Still play drums on the steering wheel. To that song by Green Day, I sing along while we ride down the freeway. We go surfing once we're down with Spike. It's beautiful out here. It's really pretty. It's like something bit his head. Oh yeah. And then his back legs, he was really struggling to walk, so I don't know, it's almost like he, he was on like an ATV trail, so I don't know if he got hit or something. Okay, yeah, no, definitely we'll give him some pain meds and the vet will look at him tomorrow. Okay, yeah. cool. Bye Spike. Bye Spike. <laughs> if you guys want to fill out a card for me. If you guys want to be present for Elise. Oh, that'd be oh cool. yeah, yeah, that would be okay. really cool. I'll put that on the file for you guys. Cool. Cool. We got this little card that has a tracking number for Spike, so we can, if he makes it through to release, we can actually be part of the release team, which is super exciting. Yeah, yeah. five weeks. Five, five weeks. Wow. Yeah. So pretty. Kind of a nice, like, day turned out to be. Not yeah. for Spike, but we are a nice drive. People are surfing out there. It's really beautiful. It is. Too bad we didn't bring Charlie and Eddie. They would have loved this. Yeah. Do you want to sit for a bit and just watch? Yeah. That's a keeper. Save it for a little memory jar. Yeah, make a little earring out of it. <laughs> or a nipple ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our Little Mermaid line of nipple rings. <laughs> Like, do you think Jess, Jess, on the other side of that horizon is someone staring back at us? Waving to everyone in Australia. <laughs> no, that's England. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right, let's have a bite to eat. So we ended up having a bit more of a liquid lunch than, <laughs> well, I ended up having more of a liquid lunch than I had originally intended to. But what am I supposed to do when it's happy hour when you get there? We're gonna start at the top and work our way down to the bottom. <laughs> Including the food. <laughs> All the stress and spike really took the good out of Sodom. <laughs> yeah, nothing a little soft blanc couldn't fix, but it's kind of a nice day though. Like very random, not at all how we set out, but yeah, like we got to hang out at the beach for a while. Like it, it was really nice. I random. love it. Yeah. This is probably the most memorable morning coffee walk we've had in a long time. In a very long time, but I'm ready to go home. Okay, here's the scoop. I am terrible at lying to Todd, so I'm sure that he knows that something's up, but I booked us a hotel for the night. Huge shout out to Tim and Sue, Todd's parents, for agreeing to look after Charlie and Eddie and Squirrel for the night. So I'm just gonna quickly pack us an overnight bag and we're gonna head into the city. You can feel the air conditioning. Yeah, we're gonna have a flushing toilet. It's a whole new world, you guys. Yeah, thank you, this is perfect. You're welcome. I figured it'd be a nice little surprise. Yeah, and we got an ocean view. Oh wow, yeah, right above the water. Yeah, waterfront without the, the frogs in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> I figured this would be nice, keep the drinks flowing a little yeah. getaway. Do you want to um, go explore a little? Waking up. Yeah, it's so calm. Yeah, let's go over there. 
Okay, let's go. I spotted you guys. <laughs> I was like, famous people. <laughs> so we were just walking on the waterfront and someone that watches the vlog just saw us yeah. and they want to buy us a drink, so why not? We're making new friends over drinks. Exactly. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Cheers. <laughs> So Thanks nice so much. To meet you guys. Yeah, nice to meet you too. <laughs> it's too tight with the islands up there to spin the bow. Yeah. yeah makes a little Nova Scotia education talk. A little Nova Scotia education. That was honestly the best experience. We were just walking along the boardwalk and got new friends. Yeah. It's actually super cool. So they're doing a very similar project in Nova Scotia. Hey everyone, I'm Ollie. I'm Yana. And this is Ozzy. We're the East Coast Homestead on Instagram. Follow us. <laughs> it's always nice to meet like fellow off-gridders yeah. in a city of all places. <laughs> Plus, we got to enjoy a drink together, so yeah. what's better than that? But we're gonna go try and find a bite to eat, I think. Yeah, I'm getting a little peckish. Yeah, it's shaping up to be a beautiful night. Look at that. So pretty. So pretty. All right, let's keep exploring. Okay. Those lights are fancy. How many solar panels do we need to run those? <laughs> Good morning. I think we kind of lost you there last night. We had such a blast just running around the city, meeting new friends, and we ended up having burgers in bed at 2 a.m. Living wild in the city. So it was a pretty great end to the summer. But Todd's not here right now. He ran out to grab us some coffee, so I've just been laying in bed, watching the boats go by, catching up on some emails. I'm always a little bit nervous though when I'm in hotels or public Wi-Fi. We had quite the ordeal a few years back, but now we make sure we're safe and secure by using Surfshark, the sponsor of today's video. You might remember a few years back when we did that epic van life trip to Hawaii. What was supposed to be a really fun trip ended really stressful when both of our credit cards got stolen, as well as Todd's social media and his email, all from getting a cup of coffee at a cafe that had a free internet and we weren't using a VPN. Now I'm sure you're probably wondering, what is a VPN? A VPN is a virtual private network that creates a secure connection to the internet, securing your data in the process. It blocks your location, your true identity, and prevents hackers from stealing your sensitive information. On top of security, there are so many other great benefits our personal favorite is changing our location to anywhere we want in the world. There are a lot of really great shows on Netflix in the UK and in Australia that we can't get here in North America. So by choosing London or Brisbane, wherever we want, anywhere in the world, you can change your location and enjoy endless free entertainment. Surfshark is majorly hooking you up and giving you 83% off plus three months when you click the link in the description box down below and use our code Tyler and Todd. It works out to just $2.69 per month. Take it from me, it is worth the investment. But for now, I'm just gonna continue sending my emails, watching the boats go by, and wait for my barista to bring me coffee in bed. Thank you. You're welcome. I got you a big one. You didn't really do that. Yes, I did, because I know how you are in the mornings. It was well worth the extra 50 cents. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> what do you want to do now? Um, I feel like we should make our way home soon. We could get breakfast. Yeah, we could do that. I just miss the boys and squirrel, but I know how you are about checking out. Like, you don't like to leave until right <laughs> at 11, and you like to check in right at 4. Like, Tyler's not giving them an AP paid for a minute here. He's using it. <laughs> hey. I know the value of a dollar, what can I say? <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just gonna pack up our things and then we'll get ready to go. Okay. Okay. So it's a few hours later and we came home and decided to take the boys to the river because they never ended up getting to go yesterday. It was cut short. <laughs> it was definitely the longest trip we've ever taken to the river with a few sidetracks, but... What do you think, buddy? Was it worth the wait, buddy? <laughs> what do you think? Also, we got some really exciting news that we're gonna be kicking off the house in two weeks from now, which is so exciting. It's been almost two years of planning and yeah. things are ready. That missing beam finally came in, so we're just feeling very, very relieved, but 
You may notice we're dressed a little warm. It's feeling like the first day of fall, so. We've been waiting for it. We've had our jacket and plaid ready to go. Yeah, we've got, I know, we're gonna come play with you in a second. I know. Uh, we're trying to say goodbye to our friends. <laughs> so anyway, we've got a lot of last minute things to do to get the dome ready for winter, so we're gonna be tackling that, and yeah, we're, we're really excited, so. Anyway, we're gonna go spend some time with these guys, and we will see you next Sunday. Have a great week, guys. Bye. Okay, let's go.